Okay. Anyway, I think it should be working now. All right. Uh, I will yes. do that. <laughs> okay, cool. So here's Cursor. We basically built a replacement for Cursor Composer. So you're used to this. You press Command-I, and Composer's over here. So uh, instead of doing that, you go into your terminal. I can show you, basically, to, to get our tool, it's npm install-g code buff. Uh, once you run that command, uh, then you can run code buff. So why is this different? Why is it better than Cursor Composer? Like, why are we challenging them to build a better coding agent? Um, there's like a few, we have like a bunch of ideas about why we can do better. Um, one of them is that Cursor is like a little bit, being a little bit cheap because they charge $20 a month and they don't get enough context on your code base. So one of the things we do is we try to just um, really go hard on this problem of like, what are all the relevant files to your um, request? So you can put in like a big plan um, and it's going to like do a much better job at getting context on your code base. And uh, that ultimately like makes a really big difference in uh, the code quality that it outputs. Um, that's like one small idea. We also have like, we're kind of like partway on the spectrum from like cursor towards Devon. So we're trying to become more automated. Um, we try to like not have the human make as many decisions in terms of like which terminal commands to run or like um, whatever. It sort of should just do things for you. Um, but uh, besides that, I guess I will show you like our quick demo where uh, I guess I was going to ask for your suggestions, but that seems like a lot of friction at the moment. So I'll just like come up with something. Uh, I have basically a blank web page, and then I will just say, um, let's see, uh, I don't know, create a simulation of a fish tank uh, with lots of fish, maybe. Um, so the basic interface is you start it in your command line. It's just like entering text and hitting enter. And then it goes ahead and like reads files first and goes ahead and works on uh, on your request. Um, so here you can see something that's kind of interesting here. It says it's like a complex complex request. It's going to use our think deeply tool. So one of the like great points of how CodeBuff works is that we actually just use um, a bunch of different models for different purposes. So like this read file step is actually Gemini Flash. Um, this like uh, agent here is Sonnet that's doing the most of the work, but Sonnet is delegating uh, in this think deeply step to a third model, and that's O3 Mini currently with high reasoning effort. So each model is playing its like best role, and I think that this produces like a much better result uh, ultimately. And so uh, yeah, basically in a moment, O3 Mini will create a plan for us based on uh, our requests and uh, all the files that it has read. And um, it also shows how we are doing like planning, because I think planning should almost be built into the agent itself, like in Cursor Composer. People like come up with all these hacks where they're creating these markdown files of like all these steps to do. And um, that's super cool. But I guess our idea is that like, what if, uh, what if that was like built into the, the coding agent itself? Uh, what would it come up with? It looks like here it just went ahead and created this fish tank file. Um, and like it's reasonably complicated. Uh, and it rendered the fish tank here. So uh, it looks like it's done. So what I would do is switch to the other window. So hopefully that's not that hard to do. <laughs> Add a window. OK. Uh, okay, well, it looks like there's an error. Please uh, fix this. We also released, uh, like, we're, we're adding more capabilities to the agent so it can do more and more things. Uh, uh, fix error. Uh, oh, I didn't really copy the whole thing. But, uh, we, we actually have just added this ability for it to also view uh, a web page and also get the console logs. And so it can iterate. I think this is possible with like MCP server within a cursor right now, but uh, we can have that basically natively integrated. All right, look at that. I built us this. 
Uh, simulation. Maybe these are like supposed to be fish. Make them look more like fish. Um, yeah, you'll notice it. It uh, it updated knowledge. So we there's like a uh, a few more things that that um, code buff does that makes it a little bit different. So like. Okay, one, it ran our like check script, and you can sort of configure how that works. Um, but secondly, when it learns something and it thinks that it it found uh, like an idea that like it should remember, essentially, it will uh, update this knowledge file automatically. And this is checked into your code base. Our idea is that this is if you're working on as a team, you want to like share knowledge, um, and it shouldn't be just based on an individual. Uh, it's it's like useful for everyone to have this, and basically this knowledge should be it should live with the code. So it's actually in the right directory here for uh, this project. You can even have more knowledge files nested um, where they're relevant to explain subdirectories, um, explain different parts of the code base, explain style requirements. Um, so, uh, all right. So it looks like it finished my make them look more like fish request. Uh, I think, oh, maybe you guys are seeing this the whole time. Okay, oh, it looks more like fish now. Uh, but maybe I should switch it back to cursor. I actually wonder if you guys can see if I switch this, and then I do this. Oh, you do see what window I show. Cool. But yeah, look at that. Uh, the fish look pretty good, actually. Um, I think the, I guess, like... The the flashy like from scratch demos are always the, like the the coolest to look at, um, but uh, I can also like pull up our actual code base, and also let me know where we are on time. I think actually we might be about there on time, but um... yes, uh, we will let you like four minutes because uh, th there was five minutes lost, but uh, sure. four minutes left. Sure, sure thing. Uh, yeah, so basically. Here's our actual code base for CodeBuff. So we, we use CodeBuff like all the time, like in every change to uh, to like yeah modify it. But one thing that's really good about this is you can sort of ask questions, and it really can drill into your like code base, even if it's a large code base, and give you good answers. Um, another thing, uh, yeah. So like we. Uh, yeah, you, we could also run it on like the VS Code codebase, which is like gigantic, uh, and it and it would work for that fine because we do we do do indexing, but we do like some very very fast approach such that it takes only a few seconds, even uh, even in like a like a gigantic codebase like VS Code. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure uh, what exactly else I would want to show you here, but. Um, Basically, yeah, I think that that uh, yeah, you should give it a shot. Uh, Kovaf is like pretty far along in terms of uh, like almost like user responses. Like basically, people are pretty happy. Uh, we did like a, a survey and we got a lot of ten out of tens for if they would recommend it. Um, I think it's actually competitive with the with the best of the coding agents today. Um, yeah, I, I would I would uh, especially I think it's a great idea if you if you're using like something like vs code or intellij or like one of these other editors then it's like a really simple to add uh code buff and it just is like a much better coding agent than anything that they would have um yeah i guess i'll just leave it there but yeah thanks for having me sorry for the troubles with the the streaming but no problem james uh it was a perfect demonstration about uh, what this code buff is and what i like about your product james is uh, uh i can tell like uh if i have a mini limp issue or mini uh, warning on my project i can just say fix all the warning of my project and it do it automatically without me doing anything so that's wonderful and I've, and when you test your website there's no more warning about it and everything is totally fine uh it doesn't break the code uh code buff is a really really good tools uh you guys should uh should, should uh, try out uh, all the, the the tools that we we showed today and james is uh, also part of the future
Thank you, James. Awesome, yeah. Thanks so much. Let me know if you want to work for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. So the, 